From uh, Cricket South Africa's management point of view, I felt that it was important for myself to be here to first uh, wish the team uh, good luck in England, um, all the best for the coming uh, tours as well as the uh, series. Um, um, I think also it's important for me to be here to further emphasize the support that I think Cricket South Africa needs to start uh, giving as far as the momentum Protea Ladies is concerned. Um, I've just had a nice meeting now with the captain and coach and um, it's pretty clear for me that uh, there are a few things that we need to iron out from a management point of view to make sure that uh, the team is able to perform at the highest levels and that uh, it is um, obviously a, a high performance team. So we definitely need to make sure that uh, we pull our socks up as management of Cricket South Africa to make sure that uh, this team is able to perform the environment that is uh, given them is a conducive one for them to be able to compete at the highest level. Yeah. So um, without uh, saying too much, I just wanted to wish Dani and the ladies uh, good luck with the, uh, the, the tour and that uh, hopefully I'll be able to make some time as well and go visit them in London, in England rather, uh, and watch uh, one or two of their matches and give support. I think uh, when you look at skill-wise, what we have in the squad and talent, I would say yes. We, the players as the team itself is in the should be in the top three of world cricket, and we all believe that. And even if you speak to any to players in in different occasions, they'll tell you we actually should be doing better than what we're doing as a team. And that we've realised. I think uh, from the World Cup onwards, I think uh, most of the players realise that now it's not a thing of now we're going there, and it's a thing of we can see what we can do and and learn what we can. It's a thing that we need to make sure now we start uh, improving on our rankings. And by doing that is to taking on teams like uh, England, New Zealand, Australia, which has been the leading uh, teams in world cricket. So for us as a brand, yes, we're growing, moving in the right direction, but uh, we need to start winning those kind of series now. I think there's no great opportunity now like the one we're embarking on uh, in England. And uh, I think um, all of us know what happened in the last match when the two teams met. And, uh, I think it's for us now to make, go there and see now how we can uh, change it and make sure that we in that uh, happy change room now when we come back from the store. First of all, we owe them a big one after the World Cup, so um, uh, we, you know, we want to go there with a bit of revenge. Now, um, look, we saw at the World Cup the first, I think it was the group stages where they scored 370 odd, but the fact that we came back and and scored three 300 plus, I mean that that already shows the the confidence we have against them as a side. We we never had because we never did these things and then we got to the semi-final and you know from the position they were in and we were in to get it that close that again shows shows what we have in the side and the confidence we have playing them um it is not any more learning experience we've played more odi cricket than any other country i think last year um if if i'm not mistaken but um so th there's no more that we're not playing enough cricket uh, we need to learn we need to figure out stuff. It's not that we're going there to compete and, and to win a series. Um, you know, the big picture is the World Cup at the end of the day, but um, we still need to get points and, and definitely not go, go qualify for the World Cup again. As far as the salaries and uh, revenues are concerned, I mean, as I've said, these are things that we are talking to Saka about now. So if the MOU gets um, signed tomorrow, then I guess that's, uh, the, the, the thinking is in effect tomorrow. So as soon as we can sign the MOU, then uh, some of the thinking will be affected um, as, uh, that, that immediately. And obviously, we'll put in plans as well in place to say, how do we now further improve on this? Um, one of my beliefs is that we need to have a separate and very specific driven commercial program for ladies. Um, and that's something that I feel passionate about as uh, the current acting CEO. And I hope that uh, my management will, team rather, will support me uh, as far as this uh, program is concerned, because I think that's part of the first steps that we need to take as Cricket South Africa towards making sure that we try and equal the playing field. It sparks a bit of emotion and stuff, but um, look, oh, the whole, whole of uh, the, the momentum protests are um, realistic about life. You know, we, uh, we're definitely not in a dream world where we think we bring in the, the same revenue as the men and we know that and, and we understand that everything's not going to happen overnight and we don't expect that but, but our job is to, to set up women's cricket for the generations to come and um, that, that is our goal and if it doesn't happen in my era I'm, I'm definitely not bothered um, but I'm just glad that you know Tabanga is, is really passionate about women's cricket it was a great chat we had and um, you know like I said um, I, I was 
disappointed with some of the comments that was made. Um, you know, we we do have responsibilities at the end of the day. We're all, um, you know, adults and, you know, we have a life outside of cricket and um, we, we just want to make, we just want to make a good living and enjoy, enjoy our cricket and, um, you know, have fun uh, doing that and, you know, just, you know, set up something, you know, afterwards. This takes up a lot of time in your life. So, um, yeah, but I'm, I'm very excited with everything that's happening. No, I think a lot has changed. I mean, the World Cup, you show the difference of us being in the World Cup final and coming home with two balls. I mean, the, the belief started even, I think, even that World Cup. I mean, after the Pakistan game, I think. When we changed there, everything changed in the change room. The belief started there. I think we also need to realize we are sitting with a, a group of players now that has been that is experienced. They've been playing long as a group together. They understand each other's game, and it helps also for the youngsters coming in. So for us, I think it's just to make sure that we play the key moments much better than our opponents. And then at the end of the day, it comes back to basics. We have to start executing that consistently well as a team. I think that is where we left. We uh, killed ourselves. I mean, if you go back to the same final, you'll see. As far as basics, we feel that it's uh, where we let ourselves down. It's something that you can improve against teams like that because they don't give you a gap. But it's a competitive squad that we've uh, assembled for this tour, and we believe that we can come back with a positive result. Beat them. That's what we want to do. We want to beat them. Um, I don't think we've done that. We've beaten them once in ODI before, and that was at Supersport Park. So we definitely, with, with what we have in the side, and we know they're a quality side, but you can't go anywhere thinking, oh, maybe, maybe we get one or two. You go there to beat them, you know, and, and you kind of see what's happening on the tour and, and where you're heading. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, at the World Cup, we went to win. We're going there to win, and we're going to the T20 World Cup to win as well.